Hello guys, Lunchbox here, bringing you another commentary. Now first off, before I start, can I even get a like for being brave enough to buy the golden steak out? Doesn't that look beautiful there? It does, doesn't it? Like that shit. Anyways, this was a really good game for me, and I'm not really sure what this guy was doing right there. He was trying to snipe the village people in the next mountain town over or some shit. I really don't know. But anyways, this was a really good game for me, 29-2 and two and a TDM with a stakeout. And then also while I'm on the topic of stuff, whatever, I also want to thank you for watching my 100th game featured on the map Summit. No, I'm just kidding, but it does seem like I bring you guys a lot of gameplay on the map Summit, but the reason behind that is, in all seriousness, is Summit is just... Actually, it is possibly one of the best maps in Black Ops, and it's just so easy to do good on every time I play, I rape on this map. And for example, you're going to see one of those instances of rape come up at about 3, 2, 1, BOOM! Triple C4 for the Rolling Thunder. Oh, damn, that was nice. And let me call in that bad boy Rolling Thunder here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two, oh, and then there's four. Oh, the whole team, the whole team with the rolling thunder. Oh, my God, that was, oh, my God. When I was playing this, I was freaking out. Anyways, this was an amazing game for me. Finally, bef my first death, I don't get until, like, 19 kills, and so I go on, like, a massive rampage with a shotgun night a 19 kill streak, and it was just so awesome. This game was so much fun to play. But... Anyways, besides that, first off, I want to thank you guys for all the support that you've shown me on that uh, Modern Warfare 3 video that I'd put out. It's up to almost 200 views now, which is a lot for me, and it's got almost six, about five likes, and a lot of people have commented on it saying they've watched the whole thing and they really liked it and they found out a bunch of new info that they didn't know before, and that's basically what I wanted to get out of it. That's really what I wanted, so really I want to thank all you guys who watched it, liked it. I don't know if anybody favored it. I don't check that, really. But, if anybody did favorite it, thank you. I doubt anybody did, though, but, like I said, thank you to everyone who watched that. Almost up to 200 views now. That's one of my most viewed videos. Anyways, so, getting back to the gameplay here. Uh, basically, right now, uh, the gameplay, it's not really that exciting anymore as it was from the Triple C4 to the Rolling Thunder. But, it's still, it's one of my best games that I've ever had with the stakeout. Like I said, I still, I go 19-0 and 0 before I finally die, and... That was really surprising. And I was joking with my friend, too, in this game, Goldman. Uh, we were talking about, like, my skill in Call of Duty. And he's asking me if I've ever gone flawless before. And I said, yeah. And I was like, watch, I'll do it right now. And the whole game, I kept saying, I'm going to go flawless. I'm going to go flawless. I'm going to go flawless. And up for a while, I really thought I was going to until I got that Semtex death right there. But anyway, and you notice that I've just gotten 500 kills with the stakeout. That is how much I love this gun, guys. And that's all from one prestige. That's all from this 15th prestige here. And honestly, you can tell how much I really love the stakeout. Oh, wait for it. Oh, that was a nice tomahawk there. I didn't even see the guy. I just threw it. And bam, dude, I get some range on that shot. Look at that. Oh, man, he was all the way down there. And my second care package I got. And I'm flashed there. And I can't see. I see the guy run in. Uh, th shoot him. Fail, fail. And run up a knife. And I was really mad right here because I get killed by the FAMAS, the most overpowered gun in the game. One away from my second rolling thunder. And if you guys can look at the score, 6,500 to 2,500, you can tell that we are killing them pretty bad. And honestly, this is all because of me. Just, I was butt raping them the whole entire game. It was crazy how... Good I did my like I said my final score was twenty nine and two a fourteen point five KD. And here I'm just kinda trying to do some shit that I was doing earlier. I was trying to throw the C four but wasn't getting anything and then bam I go for a random tomahawk that doesn't get anything. But still, this was an amazing game, like I said. I had a lot of fun playing it. Now game's kinda wrapping down and like I said, we really raped them this game. And it's seven hundred to thirty one hundred. And basically just still running around trying to get a few kills. Now we're at 7,200, and the last three kills of the game are all from me, so there's one of them there. I knife the camper in the corner. Run over here, shoot the sniper, trying to quick scope somebody. And then running down the stairs, and I run out this building and shoot one more guy, which it almost looks like an aimbot, but I don't have an aimbot, so bam! Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the, this gameplay. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to tell you. 
Uh, one thing that I'm starting, uh, it's a little new project. I am working on a Nazi zombies montage because just ever since Resurrection came out and Moon, I've been like addicted to zombies, so I've been playing a lot lately. So I am going to put together a Nazi zombies montage for you guys with uh, some of the songs from the zombie soundtrack in it. So that'll look pretty sweet, so look for that. That'll probably be my next video. Anyway, guys, that's all I got to say for today. Sorry you're looking at a black screen for the last, like, 30 seconds. But anyways, well, all right. Peace out.